Hey guys, thanks for watching. Maria Mitchell here. We're going to learn how to face paint this pretty frozen crown. I'm using a gem cluster that I've made myself. Check out my video on how to make your own gem clusters or bling for your face painting designs. I've added this one straight onto the skin. Normally, if we're putting it on top of paint, we'll make sure that we get, say, a cotton bud just to wipe off any paint because we want the adhesive to stick to the skin, not onto the paint. Otherwise, it will come off. I'm using Prose by Tag. In this tutorial, I've added the adhesive halfway through painting. Normally, I would put the adhesive on the gem before I start painting it all. So by the time I'm finished painting the face, um, the glue is completely set and it's tacky and sticky, ready for me to um, pop it on the skin. With a three quarter inch flat brush loaded with a split cake that I have made myself, check out my video on how to make your own split cakes. I've just made a V, just putting the brush flat on my face. And then what I'm gonna do is from both of those handles of the Vs, I'm gonna proceed in bringing my brush flat, curving it outward and pointing it up. I'm just going over it again here as my brush wasn't loaded properly. At the base of that with our brush, pointing at a 45 degree angle on one side and the other side we're going to do a loop so then after that loop we're going to bring the brush right down into a swoop and it's all pointing leading with the tip of the brush pointing to the middle of the face With my double dipped petal brush dipped in blue, so I've loaded up with white and dipped the tip into blue, I'm making some random petals pointing outward, just staggering them randomly and heading to the outside of that crown. So pressing from the tip of that brush to the ferrule of that brush, making those beautiful petals. We're going to use this pretty gem cluster that we made. Check this video on how to make gem clusters right here. And I'm going to take my tag prosade and apply it onto the back of the gem, making sure that I'm covering all of the area at the back where the flat back is. As I said, I'd normally do this right at the beginning before I start to paint, but for this tutorial, I have forgotten, so I've done it halfway through. So now with a liner brush, I've just loaded my brush up on the watery side with some white. I'm using Superstar White, and I'm just adding some swirls, pointing inward into the crown. For the snowflakes, I'm getting my sponge ready and loading it up with some white. That's just some white um, from Tag. And I'm loading it up so it's all, it's very much on the sticky, creamy side. And I'm going to use this stencil by BAM. It's a snowflake stencil. I'm going to transfer that white paint through that stencil right in the middle to show up that snowflake. And then what I'm going to do is put some nice like a little dot pattern that's on the stencil on either side just to save some time on adding detail. Now gently dabbing as we're transferring that paint through the stencil onto the skin. And by now our Prose would be on the sticky side on the back of our gem. So we've had that lying on the flat side upward. So it should be quite sticky now and ready to transfer onto the skin. So just tapping it onto the skin and it should stick there and stay there. Now this is optional. I've just picked up a light blue metallic from my face painting kit and I'm just going to fill up the lips with it. And there you have it. It's super quick, super simple and really effective um, with these gem clusters on them. You can also add some other bits and pieces on there like more dot clusters or swirls and curls. The world's your oyster with this. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you comment down below if you have anything else that you'd love to learn. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you got something out of this, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any face painting related questions or you need something that you need clarified, make sure you comment down below and I'll do my absolute best 
to share my knowledge with you in the next video. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Don't forget to follow me so we don't miss each other for the next one. Until next time, happy painting.